Apex Legends Global Series Autumn Circuit Online Tournament number one recap. I'm Kate, and let's get into it. We kick things off with an incredibly close North American tournament. Aim Assist scores 44 points in the first two games, but struggles to hold on to the lead. It seems like Complexity, Rogue, and TSM display incredible teamwork and resilience to fight back. Complexity here making a desperate balloon play coupled with Incredible teamwork to pump out a massive 11 kill second place, only to be killed by Rogue, who then took their first game of the tournament. But it didn't stop there. Coming off their first win, feeling good, Rogue doing what they do best and continue to play their superior positioning game. They take an early spot in Harvester, where the last circle ends up being, and pick up a massive 16 kill back-to-back -back win in their spot, while every other team scrambles to stay alive. Now, it all came down to the final game of the tournament. Aim Assist exits that final in 15th. So it leaves Rogue with the task of just staying alive. Unfortunately, they hit themselves with a rough rotation in the late game and get picked off by many teams at once. Complexity, the last remaining team, picks up six kills in a second place and tie Rogue at 61 points. But they lose the tiebreaker ruling, crowning Rogue as the champions. We head on down to our South American region, right into CPTL, holding a very strong high ground and poking at every team in their sights. After several zones pulling in their favor, they fend off the ultimate high ground against GDB, taking a big 14 kill win to start their tournament run. Fast forward to game five, we have an ending right outside of Old Relay that turns into a bloodbath quickly. Many teams still left in the running, trying to eke out whatever kill points and placement they can. But at the end, Millions Gaming holding down their little shed end up taking the win with a whopping 18 kills, which is more than enough for them to secure the entire tournament for themselves. Now we jump over to our European region with some new faces fighting it out for the top as our defending three-time champions Nasky, Strafe, and Dell have gone their own separate ways. Weigers snag up their first win in Game 3 been blessed with two Krabers, finishing off new esports with a nice headshot from Blast to open the fight. Winning game three with two Krabers just wasn't enough though for Weigers as they look to get a repeat victory through some really cheeky angles in the train tracks on the last two squads below. Blasts yet again opening up the last fight with big scout damage on No Love Esports, which paves the way for the rest of the team to drop down and finish off the remaining members of Alliance for their second victory in a row. In Game 5, we find Na'Vi on top of the Overlook silos looking to make an impact with their new pickup, Strafey. However, it's Claws who shows up, laying down some big damage on Gambit. Basically, it takes them all out on his own. A valiant effort, but it wasn't enough to pull the victory away from Weigers as they are our Autumn Circuit 1 EU winners. Lava City boys start out their tournament run in a place that I think they're comfortable calling home. With the game starting and ending in Lava City for them, they can easily make sure they're in the most advantageous spot to be in, and they do just that as they wait for DNMK and Fenerbahce Esports to fight each other so they can come in with that easy third-party cleanup for their second one of the day and in a row. We move on to Game 5 where the first place team Lava City Boys gets eliminated at 13th by Fenerbahce early on. This sparks a fire under them as they move up to the map room and take out all of the remaining three teams left in the match for a massive 19 kill win to snag the lead from Lava City Boys. They go on to win the next game as well with 11 kills and win the whole tournament. Apex South is always a hotly contested bloodbath compared to some of the other regions, and it's no different with Myth in Game 3. Wipe it out AMK here, setting themselves up for the next rotation where they continue that bloodbath. They take out AF and FTD in the final ring with the Revenant Death Totem for the 12 kill victory. They immediately follow up their win with another 11 kill win, which ends up being more than enough for their dominating performance. Myth wins the Apex South region with a whopping 91 points. Remember to keep up with all things Apex. Follow us on all the socials at Play Apex and playapex.com slash ALGS. Looking to be part of the action? Head to battlefy.com slash ALGS.